Good morning all. It's uh, half past six, Sunday morning. We're here again, another London Marathon. So I've got me, um, me breakfast is a bowl of porridge and I bulked it up this morning with some bananas and also a little bonus extra this morning is some peanut butter and my my on some toast purely because I just want to it's a 10 o'clock kickoff so I want to make sure my stomach is bulked up nicely and then we've got my kit bag it's all ready in the front room so I'm going to have my cup of coffee and my breakfast and I'll see you all very very soon So here we are again, the start of the London Marathon, 2023. Who would think it was only six months ago that I last run the marathon? But obviously because of things were a little bit different over the last few years, we won't mention what that was. We, um, we find ourselves doing another London Marathon within six months. All right, so heading over to the blue start. That's the course there, the start line. It's just there. So that's where I'll be starting today. So here we are in the um, in the blue star area, which is a new one to me. The sun's out, which is great. They forecast rain, but at the minute it's holding off. So I'm gonna suss out where my lorry um, bag drop off is first. So I know exactly where I've got to go for that. So I've sussed out where I've got to go and nicely surprising so I know exactly where I'm going so I can just chill out for a little while just taking it easy for a minute I'm gonna start my race prep probably about an hour before so I'm ready in all good time Well, that's it, loop break done. Half an hour to go to the start. So I'm making my way over now. I've already been over there to check out where it is, but I'm going back over there now. Get myself right at the front so I can set up in my own little, uh, my own little pace, hopefully. The elites have just gone off. Now it's our turn. We've just gone our way round now to the start. Exciting stuff. We're in a bit of a downpour, but it seems to have eased off a little bit, which is good. So I just want to get going now. Let's get this done. Good. Show me your name. Show me your charity. I'm going to pull you Almost didn't start the watch, unbelievable. I was so excited about crossing the line. So here we go. So we're just going past uh, Charlton Park, Charlton Park run. So this is where the uh, Red Start, Good for Age, and the Red Start merge together. So we get down to the roundabout and then we'll all merge into one course. So this is the point where I sort of decide am I going to keep with this pace or not. So I think I'm just going to keep it going for a little while longer. See how I feel at mile 13. 
you all feel my tracking, eh? Right? You all feel my tracking when they start. It'll be fine. Give it all you got. Nice bit of advice from people. We all support each other out here. We're all the same once we get on the running course. So, part of one of my favourite parts now. Great support. Always a cutting start. But to be fair, the whole course has been uh, absolutely amazing. And our other half, the newly wits, not even a year married yet. Should be somewhere along here. So, seriously speaking, I think the crowd's actually better this year than last in October. And it was a lovely sunny day. Oh, a little bit of water. I took a gel a little while ago, about 10 minutes ago. This is horrible running in the wet, I've got to say. Feet are soaking wet already. A bit worried about the blister. 12. And the pace is already dropping off a little bit, but uh, it was to be expected. So, like I predicted, there's no chance of uh, sub 3.15 today. So, it's not possible. So, all I can do is just try and keep things going without getting pushed over. Tower Bridge, coming up. It's almost halfway. Halfway, pace is dropping off quite a lot. So I'm getting overtaken by all the different pace groups now. That's to be expected, but it's still, it's still not nice when you when you know you're capable of faster time. The legs feel absolutely smashed to bits already, and it's only halfway. Uh, so my uh, good parade attempt is pretty much over with now, so I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm not putting any pressure on myself now. I'm just going to get to the end. So my legs still do a bit, feel quite tired to be fair. The old Grand Canyon hike, just over two weeks ago. It's just too much. So this is the sort of turning point now. We start heading back towards the West End of London, towards the finish line. So all my expectations are completely smashed to bits now. Well, I've been through the uh, 20 miles. So I took a gel. So I've done. I've done my gels now. Really, there's no point taking one. At mile 
25 or 6 because it's too near the end. So I took one at mold 20. So that should give me like an hour's worth of energy, hopefully. Hold up until the end. I'm probably running about 8.40 now, which is like, it's hard work for me. It's too slow. I'm just making it harder for myself. And that's all I can do. Tower London. Now we're going into Lower Thames Street now. So you know you're near the end. Oh, what's that smell? I can smell the coffee beans. So we got three miles, just over. I was going to say, see if I can do a part on PB, but I think that's asking for a bit too much. Westminster Bridge, that's where we turn right through Parliament Square, 25 miles, so we're uh, just over a mile. Right, ours is a Parliament coming up. London Eye, just over there. in the mold now. I can do this I think. So that's the bird cage walk. The next bend I'll turn will be the final stretch. 600 metres. I think we might have, might just say that. I'm going to do it. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's someone breathing. I've never heard anything like it in my life. Buckingham Palace coming up on the left. Going to be a centre of attention soon. Bloody hell. I've got to get away from this bloke. This is it folks, end of another London Marathon. Unlikely I'll be running next year as I've failed in my good for age but 
it doesn't matter, there's loads of other good marathons to do in the country or even abroad. <coughs> hey, I've done it. This one before that was 2016. Um, all, all been in and around that. So, yeah, so I have an average price of 742. I'm not quite sure. Um, and again, it's definitely a sub. <laughs> Yeah, oh. it turns up. Every single runner that drives money, hats off to you. There uh, we go. Finish up the London Marathon. 2023. The crowds, yeah, it's for everything about it. Just a bit nervous. I want you to fight all these guys. Absolutely panicking before us. We'll start on again. We're all the different walks of life, sports and everything else. This is more nervous than stepping on the first team. It's always that initial bit when you stop your next out of jelly. Oh, thank God that's over with. I want to get to the pub now and have a pint, I tell you. <laughs> uh, what a shame, it wasn't for the legs. I had it there, I had it in the tank, but the legs were just knackered. Cheers, mate, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. Yeah, the, uh, Blows in the tank, energy-wise, but legs just couldn't do it. Thanks for the Grand Canyon hike, but I want to change that for the world, like I was saying. You know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. There's no way I wasn't going to do it, so I'm going to get my medal now. Is that okay to film? Lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you, girls. Thank you very much. Yeah. Over a run, she's saying. I couldn't do it over again, put it that way. I feel pretty good actually. It's such a shame. The legs just wouldn't do it. Everyone coming through. We're going to pick up our. Uh, Souvenir shirt, feel pretty happy, I've got to say. So, plenty in the tank, it's just, I know I keep saying it, but I just I can't believe the legs just wouldn't do it. But, I was saying, I always knew it was going to happen. So, now the fun part of finding the old lorries, but I've just spotted lorry 19 blue and I'm lorry 22, so it might actually be sooner than I think. So, really, at the end of the day, I did enjoy the middle sector of that marathon because at one point I had a little niggle in my calf and I thought to myself, is that gonna is that, is that gonna go or something? I wasn't sure. But uh, once I knew it was gonna hold up, I had the confidence then just to pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah, there we go, Laurel 22. So I'm gonna pick up my um pick up my bag and uh, get to the changing tent and uh, get myself changed and uh, some dry clothing on because I'm absolutely soaking wet. Got wet feet, the bliss is held up as well, which is good news. So, thanks to Mark, who mentioned earlier in one of my earlier vlogs about the Arnica Queen, that worked a treat. So, I'm going to grab my bag. At the end of the day, it wasn't a disaster at all. I managed to run the whole distance, didn't, didn't stop once. I'm really pleased with how it all went. I always knew that I was never going to achieve that time because I knew the legs would fail. That, that hike, you know what I mean? It's like it's such a big deal. I mean, it's hard, definitely harder than a marathon, I would say. And on top of that, I had the altitude. Hopefully, if I've come out of this unscathed and I've got no no little niggles, my calf did feel a little bit tight at one point. But uh, you never know, in a month or two, off the back of this, I'll have even more strength and uh, see, how it all, see how I feel in a few weeks' time about maybe a, another marathon in the autumn, maybe. But uh, it's a bit early yet to start thinking about that. And just want to say, if you're not subscribing, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, there's a hell of a lot of viewers out there watching my videos. A lot of viewers, but not so many subscribers compared to what the viewing, viewings I'm get. So 
just subscribe it doesn't cost nothing and uh, it helps helps my channel grow and uh, it's, it's just nice to know that people are watching and all I want to do is just share my running experiences and other little bits and pieces as well and uh, don't forget soon hopefully it's going to take me a while to get them out there but I've got a couple of really good videos coming out on my Grand Canyon hike as well so uh, don't forget to subscribe I was saying and, uh, you don't want to miss out on these videos they're going to be really good there'll be more marathons ahead there'll be more half marathon thinking about doing a half marathon in May by the way as well if I, like I was saying if I don't get no reaction from this Right, that's it, a couple of points. Walking to the station now and get the train home. It's been a great experience, that's all I can say.